All right, guys, welcome to another Trails of SoCal vlog. Today, I am in the beautiful California State Park, Lake Paris in Paris, California. This has been a spot that I've wanted to come to for the longest time, for years. I had a couple users suggest uh, to check this place out. Without stopping, it should take about an hour to wrap all the way around the lake, but we'll see how long it takes us today. I have a feeling I'm gonna be stopping a lot. So with that, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my bike and let's get started. Just from those shots alone, I'm sure you could tell how beautiful this area is. Lake Paris itself is stunning. What strikes me the most is just how vast and remote this area is so far. You can see the water behind me, but to my other side, it's just a big open area. Nothing but just open space and mountains. And because it's November, in the distance, you can see some of the mountains with snow on top. Beautiful, beautiful open area. A couple things I forgot to mention as well. I, I parked down at Power Cove. And to park anywhere in Lake Paris, it costs $10 to enter. That money goes towards the California State Park uh, program, which helps support uh, these beautiful open spaces. So it's well worth the $10. At the same time, I recognize that $10 entry fee could be restricting to a lot of people. So it's up to you. In my opinion, so far, it's very worthwhile. Also, this is a class one bike path, and it typically takes riders around an hour Maybe less to finish, depending on how many times you stop. I am currently riding around the north part of the lake, and so far I've seen a handful of riders uh, using their road bikes to go around the lake. The only reason I haven't been out here before is because of the fact that there's an entry fee, and it's kind of a closed loop trail here. There aren't many resources uh, along the trail. Uh, it doesn't take you anywhere in particular, but just come out here and be prepared. And like I've mentioned before, if you come out here in the summertime, it gets hot. I really recommend coming here in the fall and winter. I couldn't have asked for a better day. All right, guys, we're reapproaching the water, so let me uh, let me break the drone out and get some more shots. I'm taking a quick break. Uh, I'm about one fourth of the way through the trail right now. And uh, I just wanted to stop for a second, drink some water, uh, talk to the camera a bit. Uh, actually, so this is something I'm learning today too. I didn't know the name of the trail itself. I'd always just call it the Lake Paris Loop. It's actually called the Juan Batista de Anza Trail. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're about to hit the water. We're still technically on the east side of the lake. Uh, I'm going through a bit of a forested area, but I'm about to hit the water on the south side of the lake. And all around me here, we're also completely enclosed in uh, with this mountain range, right to the opposite side of the trail from the water. And as I mentioned before, right behind me, you can see the snow-capped mountains. Correct me if I am wrong, but I believe that's Mount San Jacinto. All right, let's keep going, guys. We have a ways to go and a lot more stuff to see. I did want to mention too, I did see uh, just a few hundred feet behind me a small sheltered rest area and a porta potty. Like, a, probably not the cleanest thing in the world, but it's nice to have some kind of bathroom stop. Really, here in the first mile of the ride, so that's still limited resources and you're out here on your own, but that's good to see. If you follow the channel on Instagram at all, uh, I don't know, maybe six months ago, seven, eight months ago. 
I put a picture up basically showing my drone broken, smashed to the ground. Uh, the same drone that I used when I started the channel back in 2017, it finally died. So today, let me know if you guys are noticing any difference. I actually am using a new drone for the first time. So getting used to that is kind of a uh, kind of been interesting, but it's a DJI Mini. I'd be really interested in getting some feedback on that. Okay, just as a guy on an e-bike passed me by. Uh, good to see e-bike riders out here too. So bring your e-bike, bring your road bike, mountain bike, it doesn't matter. Well, all of a sudden I'm getting a little out of breath. So I'm just gonna put the camera down and keep riding. Oh, approaching our first little hill. All right, here we are, right by the water. About halfway through the bike path, I'd assume right now. Uh, a couple of little small climbs, but nothing. Nothing too bad at all. God, the sights really do make it worth it though. And the peacefulness of this area too is what really strikes me. You know, it could just be simply the entry fee that keeps this place from getting too crowded, but it's nice having some crowd control, especially for purposes of filming out here. Sometimes filming trails and like a vlog style like this in like the middle of Irvine or downtown LA or Bakersfield or you know, no matter where you are, if you're in a dense population center, you need to be careful with tons of obstacles when you fly your drone. Uh, some areas are just completely prohibited. So, I really, really am happy with this space. Okay, we're merging on with the road again right now. As you can see, actually, you know what I'm riding on? It's more of a multi-use uh, service road for cars and bikes. There's, there are no cars here, no real through traffic, so there's very little to worry about. And before you know it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be crossing over the dam on the west side of the lake. I'm even spotting some rock climbers out here. That's pretty cool. Right outside of Big Rock Bay. Okay, so it looks like I'm, I just entered a part of the path that separates from the service road, which is, which is great, but just be aware that it's a small little narrow strip here, just for a few hundred feet. It doesn't really allow for two-way traffic or side-by-side -side traffic, so just be cautious about that. All right, we are on the home stretch now. We are fast approaching the western side of Lake Paris. We made it. I had to pass through like a small little gate uh, that has an opening. Uh, just on the left side, I had to walk my bike over the gravel. No big deal riding right along the upper edge of the dam uh to my left is actually the city of paris itself i gotta say it's much nicer being up here by the water so it looks like there's a few more like bathroom sheltered rest areas along uh the edge of the dam here so that's good to see uh before making your final little push back to the campsites back to the parking lots we're almost there. And I just wanted to add, this entire trail looping all the way around and back is about a 10 mile loop. So keep that in mind when you start. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the camera down and just enjoy this final mile. Next stop, Lake Paris Beach. through one more gate. 
Here we are, looping back around to the north side of the lake. guys I'm gonna put my bike down here today was an excellent day exploring this loop for the first time I'm so glad I finally made it out here after years of trying to get here we're here on the north side of Lake Paris at Lake Paris Beach there's literally no one here this is a beautiful spot uh, the bike path is extremely well maintained it's very easy to ride there's very few inclines and every section of the path has something to see. I am definitely gonna be back out here again. And I wanna make a point that this was a Patreon supported uh, vlog. Through the generosity of the, the patrons that are supporting this channel, once per year, I'm able to go out and explore a brand new area like this uh, here at Lake Paris today. You guys made it happen. Thank you so much. And if you wanna support the channel, you can sign up on patreon.com. There's a lot of cool uh, tiers you can sign up for with different rewards and gifts uh, and perks uh, for you if you do choose to sign up. At whatever membership level, it's extremely appreciated and extremely helpful to me to be able to do stuff like this more often. This channel also now has super thanks, so if you want to chip in a dollar or more or whatever you can afford uh, to say thanks for this video, Right below the screen here, there'll be a button that says thanks. Click on that and uh, your support is extremely appreciated, no matter how big or small. And if you can't do any of that, that's fine. But be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today at Lake Paris. And as always, ride on and ride safe.